right, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to find true TDC. Uh, this is something you're definitely going to want to do anytime you build an engine for when you're going to be doing your valve train measurements, such as piston to valve clearance. And also, this is a really good tool to use with your harmonic balancer on so you can find true zero and mark it on your harmonic balancer. That will allow you to make sure your ignition timing when the engine is in the car is set as accurately as it possibly can because the harmonic balancer is marked to true TDC. Even though the harmonic balancer has a key on the crank, there still is some play and it can be off by a couple of degrees. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm using a mag base that is holding my pointer. I have this degree wheel. I have two. This side is threaded. This side threads on, so it just clamps the degree wheel and holds it in one place. This side has an O-ring cut into it to allow this degree wheel not to free spin while it's clamped. I have the degree wheel sitting in space, and I have the timing pointer sitting in space. You can put your timing pointer wherever you want because we're going to be setting zero to that timing pointer. So once you set your timing pointer, make sure it does not move or your measurements will be off. I'm using a bridge with a dial indicator. I'm measuring very close to the center of the piston. That's normally what you want to shoot for. So just to get a rough start to this, I'm just going to go, I'm not paying attention to zero, I'm just looking for when the needle stops and starts to go the other way. It gives me a rough measurement, or a rough estimate where TDC is. And it just started going down. So, I'm going to set zero, bam. So let's go backwards, take the piston away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, let's say, let's shoot for 20 thousandths before TDC. So I'm gonna come up and stop at 20 thousandths before TDC, rotating clockwise. And then I'm gonna look at what degree the pointer is pointing at. So, make contact, moving up. Stop at 80 as close as we can. I Yes, I am holding the camera and see we went too far so you want to go back farther and then keep going in the same direction there you go yes i'm holding the phone and moving the breaker bar at the same time so it's a little challenging so 20 thousandths before tdc what degree are we at we're at eight degrees before top dead center because we're rotating to the right. So now, I'm gonna remember that, that it's eight degrees. And now we're gonna go past TDC. I'm gonna go past 20 degrees, and now I'm gonna rotate counterclockwise back to that 80 thousandths, and look at what degree we have. went too far so rotate past and come back to it pretty close good enough for oh, right on the money perfect see what degree we're at and this degree wheel is set pretty close that's about seven and a half so we're pretty much on the money about half a degree off so you guys can see that you go in one direction to 20 thousandths, see what degree. Go in the opposite direction to 20 thousandths before TDC, check the degree. And whatever the difference between those two values are, you subtract that. And that's where you need to move the wheel left or right to set zero at your pointer. So for instance, I said eight, <clears throat> I said eight last time. This is seven and a half. So a half a degree really does not matter. But I could just scoot the wheel to eight, and then that would be me setting the offset that the wheel is in the wrong place. And that's how you find true TDC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.